I will explain to you guys in detail how to make a large format film holder by yourself. It's not that difficult. I will show you in detail what do you need to build it and all the steps necessary to do it by yourself. Here we go. What do you need to make this film holder? Well, first off, you need three pieces of MDF and preferably cut to size. And if you do cut them to size, then please try and cut them to the size of a standard 8x10 film holder or 5x7 film holder, it doesn't really matter, or even 24 by 18 centimeters, something like that. You can choose, but take a standard size because that uh, makes things more easy if you decide to use a real, um, or, or better yet, if you decide to buy a film holder 8x10, then it still will fit your camera or somehow without a lot of adjustments. Now, the other thing you will be needing is, you need, uh, yeah, this kind of thing. You can choose, you can use real paint or a paint stick like this. It will do the job very well. It's, it's very fast and it really darkens the wood very, very, very efficiently. And if it, it dries out very fast also, and it's completely matte black. So that's what you will be needing. Then you will need a tape, Velcro tape, just standard Velcro tape here, sticky at the back, Velcro at the front, two types, eh? Velcro need, you need two types of, uh, yeah, two pieces, one with loops and one with uh, hooks. Of course, you need a Stanley knife because I use a Stanley knife to cut the boards. Uh, it's not always possible, but some MDF, especially the softer ones, if you uh, score it a few times, you'll be able to, yeah, to cut through the MDF without an issue. So that's what I did. You also will be needing some clamps. And glue. Preferably wood glue that dries very fast. This one only dries in five minutes, so uh, it's ideal. Last but no li not least, you need some black card cardboard. Needs to be quite strong. See, no holes here. Maybe a bit laminated. I don't know. But that's what I used. Um, alternatively, if you can't find any black cardboard, you can use some MDF, very thin MDF. Can use it yeah it will function the same way no problem but then you need to paint it but you see the paint is already dry so uh or almost dry at least no issue oh yeah you also need a ruler because if you're going to score these uh these pieces of wood if you're going to try to break through them or cut through them you need a really firm ruler otherwise it won't be happening and also if you take your measurements very easy to have a ruler with some yeah, numbers on it so you can uh, cut things. Now, let's see how to make it. The unfortunate thing is I didn't film it while I'm making it, but I do, did take some pictures. So I will show you some slides uh, of the pictures on how I made the film holder step by step. And I will also, of course, give you some information with each picture so you can clearly see how did I do it because actually it's not that difficult you will see it's really nothing to it but it takes some time you do need all these things but afterwards you will have a film holder that you really can use and yeah it won't give you any uh, issues
the one thing I would like to mention when you build this film holder um, do keep in mind that this is a very very simple film holder so this is just a board here what you need to do is if you want to use it you need to stick in a piece of film with gaffer's tape or another tape or alternatively you can put in uh, here you can glue in at the back here a piece of metal and then you can use magnets to hold the picture together that that also really works very well yeah you also can uh, put another piece of uh, cardboard in here you can glue it in so you can slide in the the film or the paper so it's kept firm here in the same place If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe then you can make many more of these videos bye bye